coming up to this time, there's been seven days of tremendous blessing. For seven days, all the Jewish people, literally worldwide that could make it, would come to Jerusalem to bring their first fruit offering. Now, the Bible says three times a year we're to come before the Lord, not come empty handed. That's Passover, what we call Resurrection Sunday. That's Shavuot, what we call Pentecost. And today, or this week, which we call the Feast of Tabernacles, or Sukkot. Now, the teaching is, is that everybody on these three times a year were to be sure you got, because it's what got us 30, 60, 100 fold. But the truth of it is, is that because they didn't have cars or airplanes or trains, every Jew that understood the word of God got an offering to the temple on all three of these. But the truth of it is, sometimes on Passover, they would send someone, like a group of people in the Galilee, would get, they would give one person a shalak, their offering and send that one person with all them because they couldn't all get there. I mean, maybe somebody in Europe, they, it would be a two month journey. So they would send somebody. They would do that on Passover. They'd make sure their offering got there, but they might send somebody. The, uh, same thing on Pentecost or Shavuot, they might send somebody. But on this one, they made sure they got there themselves because this was the, if I can say it, I don't even know if it's biblically, it's the mother of all offerings. Is that okay to say that? It, this is, this is, this is it. And so they didn't want to, they didn't want, they wanted to make sure nothing would keep this from happening. 